Fuck! Scheiße! Ich habe mir die Hand geschnitten, der scheiß fucking Propeller. Ah! Ich brauch die Bo Hast du irgendwas zum Abbinden dabei? Moment, ich geh's holen. Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. Today, I want to briefly introduce you into the perfect techniques for taking off with the Phantom out of our hands and hand catching the Phantoms. And with my hints, you will probably stay safer than Enrique Iglesias, but you do it on your own risk. Enjoy the episode. Don't forget to leave a thumb up and subscribe while the astronaut dances. Before we getting started, only a short disclaimer of mine. Of course, taking off out of the hand and hand catching the Phantom is officially not recommended, neither by myself nor by DJI. And um, you are yourself responsible at all times for whatever you do. And um, for safety reasons, you shouldn't, of course, do um, those techniques. And um, But I got too many requests about how to get that done safely. And I want to give you some hints how I do it sometimes. <laughs> Let's keep this a short answer as this was supposed to be a short episode. Um, when should you take off out of the hand? It's pretty simple. For example, if there is super high grass surrounding you only and there is no, I don't know, um, flat surface. Or for example, when I was on a boat, I was very limited in space. I only had that much space to take off. And um, I think this, the sides were too close to the Phantom. And then I decided to take the Phantom and um, take off out of my hand. It is. Um, I don't know, it's like that. Sometimes you are limited and then you have to perform the hand takeoff, even though I don't do that uh, very often. Okay, guys, let me show you how to safely hand take off with the Phantom. It is pretty simple if you follow my rules. First of all, we do not hand grab the Phantom by the bottom ending of the leg because otherwise it might tip over and with the prop spinning, that could be pretty dangerous. We always hold onto it at... Um, the back end of the leg. Next to that, we always make sure that the camera is pointing away from us, so we are not getting confused with the controls if the Phantom takes off. And finally, we want to make sure that we are in P mode, which means it's the GPS-based mode, um, when taking off out of our hand, so that the copter hold, holds its position and it doesn't, for example, fly back, travels back with the wind, as it would within the ATTI mode. If you don't know what that is, there might be a link right now popping up. It's pretty cool, you should know that as well. But right now, let's get started. Hold your hand up, raise your hand up to the sky. Make sure that the props are higher than your head and especially that the props are not on um, the height of your eyes because that could cause serious damage and we don't want that to happen. So hold the Phantom up high. And right now, we take both sticks of the remote controller with one hand that is a little complicated, but it's doable, and we move both to the middle bottom, CSC, to turn the Phantom on. And right now we can feel the Phantom. I'm not gonna let go of it, but right now I'm going to take the left stick of the um, remote controller and I'm going to increase the power of the throttle. And once I feel it moving away, once I feel it wants to take off, I let go. It's that simple. A takeoff can be that safe and that simple. That's basically what it's like. And of course, right now, we should make sure to move the Phantom away from us a little, maybe even raise the height a little, only to make sure it doesn't crash into um, anything or anyone. And that is actually the takeoff. It is pretty simple. But please, guys, keep in mind that you always um, have your hand high up to the sky because we don't want to have the prop in our eye. That could cause terrible, terrible, terrible blindness. Wow. I have to admit 
that in 95% of the cases I hand catch my Phantom simply because I think that the landing um, is the most complicated because if there is a wind gust and I was flying on Lanzarote for example a lot and there are pretty strong winds on that island and if there is a wind gust and you want to um, land the Phantom, the Phantom can easily tip over especially if you have some weights added for example I don't know a water boy or something like that it can always happen that the Phantom is unbalanced a little bit and then tips over and um, we don't want that to happen and uh, at least I don't want that to happen and that is why I am used to hand catching the Phantom and I don't want to land it in, uh, I don't know, higher grass and it's finally again up to you and uh, about whether you say you feel comfortable, comfortable with that and um, you say you want to risk it uh, or if you say you don't want to risk it. I mean only take a look at Mr. Iglesias trying to grab an Inspire one in flight. It didn't end up very well so it's up to you. I do it. Um, if you're doing it, I don't know, let me know in the comments if you do it. The landing procedure couldn't be simpler. Again, you have to make sure that you are in P mode, the GPS based mode, not in A mode, ATTI mode. That is a big, big, big pro for your safety. Right now, the first thing that we do is we make sure that we line up with the copter saying the camera has to point away from us because we don't want to get in trouble um, if the copter is rotated and um, for example, the front wouldn't be over there anymore, but maybe over there. And if the copter is in low flight, then it could easily hit someone. So right now, the camera is aligned with my position and I'm going to get the copter down. And as you can see, the copter is hovering in air. And don't um, make the copter fly at your position. But the best thing is, if you step forward towards the copter, again, you hold onto the copter, again hold onto the back side of the legs, not to the bottom side because that way the Phantom might tip over. Excuse me for that sound. And right now, if you're holding on the, onto the Phantom too hard, let's see what happens. The Phantom powers up. Again, let me demonstrate that again. If I hold too hard onto the Phantom, the Phantom tries to get away because it tries to hold the position and you can see that the Phantom moves back again towards its origin position. So only make sure you're holding, um, I don't know, carefully onto the back side of the leg. And now you take the left stick of the remote controller and pull it down for about two to three seconds and you shut the copter off and once the propellers have stopped rotating you can take the phantom down and ground it it is that simple please excuse the terrible audio but i couldn't show it otherwise um, as the phantom of course had to be pretty close to my position and the microphone was right underneath my mouth mm. yummy yummy gore ah the prop just hit me oh my god i'm such a good actor hollywood should call me okay guys Let's just prepare the crime scene. This is the ugly killer. Hier schön von oben. So dass man sieht, dass ein gestrandeter Kopf da ist. My friend, the hand and I. Let me show you, I'm actually not only a good pilot, but a good doctor. Wow! Kaching. Wusa, as we say in Germany, Wusa. We could add some blood to the propeller.